Hi, beautiful Isabella. It's Papa. Um, why don't we read Strawberry Shortcake and the Sweet Treat Carnival together, okay? Here we go. Good bedtime book. Strawberry Shortcake and the Sweet Treats Carnival. Strawberry Shortcake was very excited. The day of the Sweet Treats Carnival had arrived at last. She and her friends had been getting ready for weeks. They had each planned, planned special games to play at the carnival and made sweet treats for the prizes. Wow! exclaimed Strawberry as she arrived at Huckleberry Briar where the carnival was being held. It looks just like a real carnival. Yep, said Huck proudly. Ginger Snap and I spent all morning hanging up balloons and streamers, Huck said proudly. Can we play my game first? It's called... That's right, Go Fish! He handed everyone a fishing pole with a sticky piece of tape at the end of the line. Then the kids tried to catch paper fish out of a bucket. I caught three, said Ginger Snap. I caught four, said Strawberry Shortcake proudly. <laughs> Rainbow Sherbert beat us all, said Angel Cake. She caught eight! <laughs> Good job, said Huck. Here's your prize, a pack of my favorite wild berry gum. I only caught one fish, said Blueberry Muffin sadly. That's okay, Strawberry replied. There are lots more games to play. You're right, Blueberry said. Let's play mine next. It's called Hot Muffin. Everybody sits in a circle and passes around this muffin while the music plays. If you're holding the muffin, when the music stops, you're out. The last person left in wins a prize. The kids passed the muffin around while Blueberry played the music. When the song stopped, Rainbow Sherbert was caught holding the muffin and she was out. The next one out was Huck, followed by Strawberry, Ginger Snap, and Orange. That meant Angel Cake was the winner. Yay! Everybody exclaimed as Blueberry handled Angel her prize, a big bag full of blueberry jelly beans. I love jelly beans, said Angel. Strawberry's game looks fun, said Ginger Snap. Can we play that one next? Absolutely, said Strawberry. Follow me. Strawberry led her pals to a net like a basketball hoop made of strawberry vines. Whoever throws the most strawberries through the net wins the prize, Strawberry explained, as she handed out baskets of strawberries. This doesn't look too hard, Blueberry thought. Maybe I'll win this game. But after the kids finished throwing the strawberries, Huck was clearly the winner. He had made a basket every single time. Yay, I love basketball, said Huck. Well, don't you mean strawberry ball? <laughs> teased Strawberry Shortcake as she handed Huck a gallon of homemade strawberry ice cream for his prize. Blueberry was happy with all of her friends, but she was still disappointed that she hadn't won. Let's play my game now, suggested Angel Cake. It's a cakewalk, of course. She showed her friends a path made of squares that had bright numbers painted on them. I have the secret number, she explained. The person standing on the number when the music stops is the winner. Angel Cake turned on the music, and the kids jumped, hopped, and skipped around the path. Suddenly, the music stopped. Everyone froze on a different square. The secret number is... Ten, Angel announced. Blueberry looked down. She was standing on number nine. That's me! I won! cried Ginger, standing on number ten. Yay for Ginger, everyone cheered. Your prize is a tray of my very best vanilla cupcakes, with lots of sprinkles, of course. Angel's cupcakes are very yummy, Blueberry thought sadly. I do wish I had won them. Would you like to play my game, Orange Blossom asked shyly. She showed her friends a glass jar filled with tiny flowers. Whoever guesses the right number of orange blossoms gets the prize. I'm very good at guessing, thought Blueberry. Good 
Fifty, she yelled. Hmm, forty-seven, said Strawberry. Seventy-five, Huck called out, and each of the children guessed in turn. There are forty-five orange blossoms in the jar, Orange said. That means Strawberry is the winner. I was so close, Blueberry thought sadly, but I still didn't win. Here's your prize, Strawberry, Orange said as she handed her friend a bunch of orange-flavored lo orange lollipops. Mmm, Strawberry said, thank you, I can't wait to have one. The kids played Ginger Snaps game next. She showed them several pyramids made of milk bottles, and then she handed everyone a bean bag to throw at them. Whoever knocks down the most bottles wins, Ginger said. Blueberry squinted at her pyramid and threw as hard as she could at the center bottle, but it flew a little too high and only knocked down the top bottle, and she sighed. Blueberry heard a loud crash. Orange Blossom had knocked down all of her bottles with a single throw. Way to go, Huck said. You have great aim, Orange. I do, said Orange, surprised. You sure do, Ginger replied, as she handed Orange her prize, a tray of sweetly spiced angel cookies. Rainbow Sherbert's game was the last one. Blueberry held her breath as she watched Rainbow set up a large pole for playing ring toss. I just have to win this one, she thought. Ring toss is one of my very favorite games, Strawberry said as Rainbow passed out rainbow-colored rings. One by one, the kids tried to throw the rings around the pole, and Strawberry didn't miss a single one. Strawberry is the winner, Rainbow declared as she gave Strawberry a cone of fluffy cotton candy. Thank you, Rainbow, exclaimed Strawberry. I love cotton. Hey, Blueberry, what's wrong? Are you crying? I didn't win a single game, sobbed Blueberry. Strawberry ran over to Blueberry and gave her a great big hug. Don't be silly, she said. You played fairly and you were happy for your friends when they won. That makes you a great friend. She gave Blueberry some cotton candy and a lollipop, and the rest of the kids shared their treats too. Besides, most of those games are based on luck, added Huck. Anybody could have won or lost. That's true, Blueberry said with a smile, and even if I didn't win, today I'm still pretty lucky because I have the very best friends ever. The end. I love you, pumpkin.